Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday, 17 October. Lively day yesterday. Uh, got paid in Euro there. Ended up taking us to a high of around 85, I believe, 84.7. We pick some up there uh, at 25 uh, and at 28. We were also core long, still our core long. Um, you know, we sold those euros um, at 70 uh, last night. Uh, so we're through 63 late in the day, and we just jettison those guys uh, this is the 63 grabbing the cash helping with the average of our core long euro position uh, which is more medium term although I have to say uh, I'm tempted to cut the position down even more this morning because it does look like to me uh, we're due for a, a little bit of a pullback here in the euro so I don't I'll be prepared for prices down to say 55 to 35, uh, which I think is your buy zone today. Um, but this is getting a little bit tired now, so we've had basically all of this. We all remember what happened below 109. The figure, figure, kicking myself that I didn't um, structure that trade properly. That was a real fucking miss. I'll tell you what. But we get a lot of green bars here. Bing, 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 boom, bam. And then uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six of the last seven days green. Running into 111 to figure. ECB is next week. Um, I don't think this is going to extend crazily. So we want to try and trade it within a range. So we will actually sell high ones today and buy low ones today, if you know what I mean. So with the idea that we're never going to go short, net short. We may actually go flat at some point today, especially if we get near 111 the figure, with the idea that we will get a chance to reignite the longs on any volatility pullbacks. One of the reasons we think there's going to be pullbacks is cable. This fucker went up to 128.77. We're basically square cable. We sold 128 calls. So it's sort of a covered long position. We do think that the uh, risk here now is a last minute um, try and sort of screw job uh, either from Corbin or the Lib Dems or the DUP. Some sort of insidious, angry, jealous politician who wants to cut Boris off at the knees is going to come in with something and uh, try and spill the apple cart here. This doesn't mean cable is going to go back to 122. Uh, we think it's constructive to be long cable. Hard Brexit is basically off the table. And if hard Brexit is off the table, it's basically no Brexit, right? Because a soft Brexit is basically economically just the same. A little more sovereign rights, some voting bullshit. Um, and no Brexit is no Brexit. And this whole last three years is for nothing. Either of those two choices are now on the table. And with hard Brexit off the table, you can be constructive on cable. Uh, that said, there's no reason uh, this could easily pull back to 125 on some like idiotic uh, political maneuver or, you know, suicide squad job that I don't can't even begin to imagine or understand the point is is it's a bit stretched now we're 600 points into this rally um, we think the chances of a tape bomb lower are much higher than a tape bomb higher and this is reflected in covering this position or at least uh, selling calls against it but it also reflects on our euro position where we think that on 100, move, 100 point moves lower in cable, we will get 30 point moves lower in euro. A bit convoluted that, um, but I just wanted to let you 
share what I'm thinking and how we're managing risk here. Um, that's that's on the frontal lobe. As far as new trades, um, this dollar yen now is getting very very interesting. We've seen loads of supply at 90. Uh, first time up, we saw 300 up there, and then we saw 280 yesterday, just sitting on EBS. Um, I do think we're going to chop through this somehow. I don't know how or why, um, but dollar yen looks incredibly constructive. So there's not much to do between 90 and 05 because there's going to be loads of offers, but we're going to be looking for a place to break trade this, uh, which is a bit crazy. 109.30 is like the is the real important point. Um, but I don't know, the 200 day comes in at, uh, 109.10 or 109.05. So we know the CTAs will be active there. Um, dollar yen just looks constructive. I don't know why. I don't know how to, I'm really actually, now that I'm speaking about it, I'm not sure how we're actually going to trade this. The 200 day comes in at 109.05. Um, so we will be constructing some sort of break trade um, for for dollar yen. Actually, I don't know what we're going to do with dollar yen. Just odd. The price action is odd. It's bid. I know euro yen is dragging it up a bit. We have to think about this. Let's just let's just put this on the radar. We know that 109.05 is massively important, but we also know 109.30 is important. But to be fair, we're we're, we're we're risk off in our bias here, so I don't know what to do with dollar yen. We'll come back to that. Here's our stock uh, stock market, not doing too much. Uh, obviously, very small day yesterday. I think it was 97.84, 92.86 overnight. Um, it's trying to decide what to do. Uh, we have to watch these earnings quite closely. Uh, I didn't see what Netflix did last night, but it clearly didn't do too much. Um, we are bearish equities. Uh, selling high ones is marginally working. Uh, there's no real money to be made, but it's a safe way to keep a core long. So we we'll look to sell high ones. We start to get interested below 66 now, 2966. Then we get a little more aggressive. Employment out last night in Oz beat. This is more good news for the globe on this sort of lollipops and candy canes period uh, where everything seems to be solved. Not much to do here in Oz. Uh, there will be some risk above 10. A lot of the core shorts were taken out on this last move after rates and low governor low speaking um, watch 6810 uh, this might be a Friday trade if we still continue to be in la la land candy land as far as risk is concerned Aussie higher is risk on let's look at Boone's smashed uh, Yield is now 38.8. By the way, the yield for Boons is D E. What is it? 10 Y. So here's the yield. You could draw a lot of these lines that a lot of uh, our boys are drawing, and they're correct to draw them. This downtrend is now basically oh well. Oh, look at that. Close to over, depending on how you draw this. Damn. 40 basis points for us is like a real key point. Uh, there's not much for us to do here. We're not going to sell low ones. We're a core short. Um, we're also not going to sell high ones today. We're just going to remain core short boons. Uh, we do think this is going to break. So again, yield higher means price lower. You want to stay short this price. This price here means meaningless because this is from the SEP contract. This is your technical analysis, analysis right here, just the D's contract. So it's like 30 bars. Fixed income is fucked up as far as technicals. I don't, and if you're not, don't trade fixed income. Don't bother. Um, 
it'll take you 20 years to figure out what the hell is going on fixed income uh, so just watch along from home but anyway core short boons um, this is this is where we stand dollar cad we keep selling high ones uh, really nothing is going on here there's no money being made uh, just peanuts and nickels. We got this election coming up, which I think is stymieing downside. Um, so we've kind of given up on dollar CAD here. One last thing, CAD yen. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. If you're bullish, this is your horse. 8210 is the 200. You can see yesterday we went down to. 05 but then right back up uh, if you're a risk on and you think the world is saved buy cad yen this is your best horse finally oil uh, we're, sh we're short oil we've been short all week been trading it where is CL uh, there she is 5291 Basically, we're looking for some sideways action, continued sideways action here, but eventually we think this is gonna, this is gonna smack the pony through 50-50. A lot of my friends are asking me about whether Aramco is gonna, or the Saudis are gonna support this in front of the Aramco IPO. I imagine they are, but I also imagine that um, there's just gonna be loads of risk below 50-50. This has to get cleaned out, uh, and on a one-day trade basis, with the understanding the premise is this will trade um, we want to be short beforehand we want to add through it which will be hectic and then we want to just see what price gives us on this trade uh, but we're short crude so it's a it's a sort of a melange of things short boon short crude we're kind of flat sterling now and we're long euros um, so that's uh, the that's the game today. We are watching this dollar yen. We don't understand it, but we're watching it. Could be a reflection of, of um, yield. Um, but 109.05 and 109.30 super important in dollar yen. Seem to be talking a lot now. There's no data here in European morning. We've got some stuff uh, later on. The U.S. stuff. U.S. session looks like it's going to be a lot more lively. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. I will uh, see you tomorrow.